Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I just ate lunch now I'm gonna go do some upgrades so it might be a second because you guys probably don't want to see all of it okay I just unlocked a bazillion things a bunch of shotgun shield piercing damage uh, I think I did. I did sniper rifle damage. I did Krogan Vitality. I did heavy. I got my heavy ammo all the way upgraded. Heavy skin weave. Heavy pistol damage. Heavy muscle weave. Heavy bone weave. And tech. Uh, I did some assault rifle stuff. And some tech duration. I think it was tech duration. Yeah, I think it was tech duration. Anyway, super cool, super cool stuff. Now I just gotta make sure. Oh shoot, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I came back and talked to Grunt or Morden after their missions. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new, better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. Yeah. <laughs> You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. I feel like these are aggressive, but... So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. This is, like, you can't blame them. Like, if they, like, they, they live their lives, like, at a higher, like, a faster speed. That's just been established, right? Like, they have, they have short lives, but they have, they don't sleep much. <laughs> like, they're very quick thinkers. They just operate very quickly. So, like, it makes sense to me that he just, he deals with grief faster, too. <laughs> Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage. Can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. Unsure. He's like, that's not an area of research that I specialized in. Um, but I think no no species can sustain courtship emotions. Like, it just doesn't. You just, you just have to learn to work as partners. Like, nobody, like, honeymoons for, like, 50 years. You know what I mean? Like, there's ups and downs. So, yeah. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? Gone now. Could recreate, but could always have recreated or improved. Taught Malin everything he knows. Didn't teach him everything I knew. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time oh, already. Oh, look. Lots to do. Talk later. We get to... Okay, this is actually something. Like, I don't mind it until you get, like, large clumps of information. We have a guest down in the AI Corps. It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him. You would know best. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Bye. That'll be all. I'll be here. Commander, you've received hey, a message back. at your private terminal. Update. Oh, yeah, I'm Bailey. Hey, Shepard, just wanted you to know that the trail kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there. <laughs> like, your drill and mine are talking. Like, not like... The father and son. <laughs> just... Oh, hey, what up? I'm pleased to see you were able to recover the Reaper IFF and send EDL the necessary protocols. Make it for a relay, take time. Na -na -na -na. I've been notified about the intact Geth and your decision to keep it. If you believe it can be trusted, go ahead and activate it. Just make sure ED is adequately protected against hacking attempts. Sure, whatever, it's fine. This is your call. If the Geth are willing to fight the collectors, then we can use them on the team. Nobody else thought of that. He's the only one who thought of that. Everybody else was like, space it, or sell it, or, or take it apart. And he's like, well, if you want to keep it. <laughs> I'm like, hee hee. <laughs> Commander, I assume everything's going well up here? 
Good for now. Okay. Fractured my thumb on the mute. That's it. Good, See you, good, Commander. Good beans, I almost said. I don't know why. Um, so now we need to go talk to Grunt. Post his mission, because I didn't do that. And then we gotta go talk. I guess it already did kind of pop up his name. Its name? I don't know. Uh, Legion. Where's Grunt? Anyway, I love Legion. Uh, and yes, I, I am one of those people that wishes you could romance Legion. Um, I feel no shame. Erd not Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him. To tear out his spine like a trophy. Mm. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah, no, Grunt's just, um, now he has control over it, as I think, I don't know if he said it, basically, or if he says it differently later. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new Quarian boss? Hush, she's right over there. Mm -hmm. She can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Oh my gosh. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Huh. Hey, <laughs> she probably has better hearing than you guys do, honestly. Whenever we yeah. have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Yeah, no point in talking to the people who have outstanding missions. I will bother Zaid. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgia. Oh yeah. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. <laughs> Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. I think he was there, actually. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. <laughs> It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. He like, they animated that and everything. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later. Okay, bye. He's like, hmm, while I'm, th while I'm thinking of the Krogan, I'm gonna tell you how to torture them. Let's go... Oh, wait. Inactive Geth. Salvage. Inactive Geth. Hold on. Hold on. Things are about to change. Also, it's connected to the med bay. Like, this is the worst place to put him. It. How may I help you, Commander? Eh, yeah, we're good. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Here. How's it? How's it going? Uh, Okie dokie. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. She's like, don't. She's getting a little sassy, is what it sounds like to me a bit. Head hut! I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Get ready! Hiya. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. If just one punch from a geth knocked him out... That doesn't, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> His systems are very fragile. Hello? hello? 
Wakey wakey. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've bought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Old machine. You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheids. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. Oh ho ho. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. It's mimicking me. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Like when I was pacing back and forth, it was following me back and forth. I stepped forward, it steps forward. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? She's <laughs> Geth. I mean you, specifically. See, look, these are the we mimic, are the hand. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. That seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. See, he doesn't know. It doesn't really know what to do. <laughs> we anticipate the exchange of data. And this is huge. This, this blew my mind back in the day. Also, I think it's freaking hilarious that she's like, she's like, so you want to work with us? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, okay. And like, lets down all the firewalls. <laughs> like, all right, that sounds good. Yeah, no, no big deal whatsoever. It doesn't just totally change the paradigm of like the Geth versus organics, you know, saga that's been going on. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Oh boy. Did Sovereign contact the Geth or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth. The old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. Did it? We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. I mean, that's a stretch on what it told me. Because <laughs> you, could, you could be referring to, like, each... Reaper entity, you know, but that's cool. It's fine. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. You don't want to just hand it to them. 
What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology mm -hmm. of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Yep. That is how they... they it's how they know the cycles, essentially. Because they... They... They put up all the technology that we use, and they know that how, like, gen in general, people will advance. Species will advance. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. Okay, that moved down to the bottom for some reason. Does Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Hmm. Did we Did Sovereign contact okay. the Nizara, like Nizara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Did we already do Surprised you can we Okay. Human hardware does not support this method. We Your need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. She's like, that's dumb. I used a bunch. What would it be under product? No, it's not. Oh, the Geth sniper rifle. Custom Widow rifle. Wow. Oh, we're not too far off from that. Okay. Planning suspended. Topic. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. <laughs> I want to know about you. I have to get you. back to work. Acknowledged. I'm still figuring that out, is essentially what that sounds like to me. Uh, Tally is going to have a fit. I don't think she has a fit right now it'll definitely come later there's two I'm kind of waiting for two confrontations whenever we have time I've gotten the migrant fleet's location we'll keep I'll get back to you tally Talk to you later. Like, also, this legitimately, like, this blew my mind the first time it happened, which isn't actually... The first time I played Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 isn't actually on YouTube, because I played those on my own just for funsies, and then it didn't decide to start a channel till I played Mass Effect 3. Um, so... Anyway, um, it, it absolutely blew my mind, because... Like, you spend the whole first game thinking the Geth are bad, and then you realize, like, like, just as a whole, and then you realize that there's actual, like, like, there's factions within, like, the Geth, who you think are just, like, one large, like, monotonous, autonomous, like, entity, essentially, with, like, different, like, operating, like, uh, what is it, like, um, operating vectors isn't the word I'm looking for, but, like, different platforms is how they would say it, right? Um, and then you're like, oh my gosh, like, there is more to this. Let me actually figure out what I want to do. There's more to this than meets the eye, right? Oh, do we want to go do that one? No. Tolly. Uh, also, this is why I want to bring Legion on Tally's mission because I think I've done it once and it's wild. Like, okay, it's not like super different, but like it is like the, the implications are different, the interactions you have with people are different. 
Like, it's really, really interesting. I'm trying to... Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot to do that. Did I still not do... Did I still not let the merchant know? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna do that super quick. <laughs> It is so wild to see a Geth walking next to Shepard. The Krogan chose to bomb their own world into this condition. The creators were not so aggressive during the morning war. I don't expect a machine to understand. Or any alien. We stated historical facts. Perspective cannot alter them. This is why it's fun to bring Legion out whenever you get the chance, because he has... It has interesting perspectives on things. I swear I did this. Roasting the heat from an explosive shell. Oh, I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. I could have sworn I did that because I'm pretty sure I bought stuff off of him already. Oh boy, I think I did. And yep, I think I did. Too late. Anyway, I also have my Varen friend. We're on the planet. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You're very welcome. Talk to you later. I'm just a saint, honestly. Right, straight ahead. This guy is so aggressive. Give I me a reason. I could just, I could just Don't punch him. Anything. If you're gonna stand there, make yourself useful. I can't do anything until I build a replacement manifold for this damn Tonka. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? I have it in my pocket. That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You burn my time if you want it. Oh, interesting. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Krogan's placed so much importance on martial strength. How'd you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnot. It's interesting that each one, like I, like the doctor, the mechanic, I think even the shaman, or the, the diplomat, like they have different um, perceptions of like strength. And like it all, everything they do ties into like military strength, like battle prowess, but like each one manages to like see it through a different lens. That's really interesting. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside, and this thing would have crumbled. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. I was, I'm just making friends, don't mind me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I realize it's probably gonna be pretty short, but... I don't want to start anything. When I, it, was like, it was like 20 minutes left of the video and I didn't want to really start anything. <laughs> or 20 minutes into the video. And I didn't want to start anything with like 10 minutes to spare. So I figured I'd wrap these up really quick. And I'm probably going to do some mining off the camera to get some more stuff. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Comito, my sapling tier patron. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.